Being pushed back tonight as nearly two dozen small business owners join a lawsuit against congestion pricing. Fox News Ashley Rodriguez shows us why they say the controversial plan threatens their livelihoods. <laughs> Wall Street Grill in Lower Manhattan used to serve 150 patrons a day before COVID. Now it serves 50. The restaurant is surviving, though, as people telecommute and tighten their budgets. But the customers that do come drive in. That could change this spring when congestion pricing goes into effect. I'm more worried about the customers just staying out of the zone because there's so many other alternatives. Nearly two dozen small business owners rallied outside City Hall Tuesday, demanding a new environmental impact study be conducted before the toll goes into effect. The business owners believe the MTA was in such a rush to get the tax through, it completely overlooked how it affects shops and eateries still recovering from COVID. The business community has has been a strong supporter of congestion pricing for many years. The MTA responded, arguing congestion pricing will help the business community by getting people out of gridlock and onto public transit, which will be much improved by the $1 billion generated by the toll. They'll tell you everybody should park their cars and get on the subway. The subway? This subway? The subway in New York City? The one where you risk your life literally to get on it? The business owners point to London, where congestion pricing is currently in place. The New York Post reporting that after the toll went into effect there, business plunged 30% almost overnight. It's supposed to go into effect this spring. Are you scared? I'm not happy about it, and we're going to do whatever we can. That's the reason why we joined this lawsuit. This lawsuit joins others from the state of New Jersey, Staten Island, and the United Federation of Teachers. The MTA says all of these lawsuits are slowing down their efforts to make critical upgrades at stations across the city. On the Upper East Side, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News. The MTA testing out new subway barriers to prevent attacks on conductors. They're supposed to keep people safe and away from subway cars, but some are skeptical that they'll actually work. Plus the department.